think about sex differences in MS, we've also done a lot of work, and other people are starting to do this too, is it's not just sex hormones. There's also sex chromosome effects. So X genes, uh, there, there are genes on the X chromosome that are in a dose effect. Women have two Xs and males have one, and some of these genes escape X inactivation. They, you, get, you do get a, a dose effect, and these genes are extremely important because they can actually drive histone methylation and trans, transcriptomics across all the other autosomes. And so we've had, had very interesting data, and we have more papers coming out, and, and some others are starting to work on this as well, where X chromosome genes can be very important in driving inflammation. And the question is, could they also be important in, you know, neuroresilience? And that could be why the males do worse. You can imagine the, the, the um, implications of driving autosomal gene expression by having two versus one X chromosomes. And I will just say it's not, it's, it's not simple because then you have to overlay the effect of the hormones onto the sex chromosome. And that's what's in our journal of experimental medicine paper in 2022, if you want to read about it. But it's a combination of X chromosome genes Sex, sex hormones and how they come together at the different stages of lifespan to affect inflammation and neurodegeneration.